So here I am, Nova Southeastern University. Yeah, we are in the Department of Health and Human Performance. Within the department, we actually are a separate program. We're the Exercise and Sports Science Program. One of the things we've focused on in the last four years is the effects of high-protein diets on, <clears throat> on body composition and on health. Because you and I have heard for, I've heard this since I was in, as an undergrad, how how horrible protein can be for your kidneys and, and you name it, it's bad for your bones. And the ironic thing is there have been very few studies that have looked at athletes that have consumed high doses for a long period of time. Oftentimes what we do is just we compare two groups of people. We have athletes who consume a lot of protein and, and those who don't and say, well, there doesn't seem to be a difference. Well, what if we just gave people a lot of protein saying, hey, you got to consume. In fact, our first study, we had them consume two grams per pound. So imagine you're consuming two grams, uh, two grams of, of protein per pound body, which actually is difficult for most people to do. And that initial study we did, the results were actually kind of surprising because get this, nothing happened. They didn't gain fat. They didn't gain muscle. And we didn't change their training. So it wasn't like train this way and eat this way. It was like, just eat a lot of protein. In this case, whey protein. We'll give you as much whey protein as you want. And these people were doing downing four or five extra shakes a day just to hit their protein limit. Nothing. So the, it's, people say, can you get fat or eat, overeat on protein? And my answer is actually, it's extremely difficult to get fat eating protein. And this study sh uh, certainly showed that because calorie intake went up. But remember, calorie intake and calorie output, people think are separate equations when in fact, they're intimately tied. The, the cool thing about protein is the more you eat of it, it seems like the more you oxidize it, meaning you're, you, you know, the thermic effect of protein, as you've heard of, you start expending a lot more energy. So it's almost as if you pour protein in and energy expenditure goes up. And so these individuals, they ended up not getting fatter. And think of this, if they had consumed the equivalent amount of extra calories and carbs and fat, they get fatter. In fact, there's data on that. If you eat more carbs and fat, you get fatter. If you eat a bucket full of protein, uh, you don't seem to get fat. So 